We are going to demonstrate the crunches on the stability ball and then the twisted crunches on the stability ball as the progression. To begin with, you want to be in a position on the ball where the middle of your back is nice and comfortable. You should feel very comfortable in this position as in your balance. To make it a little bit more difficult, you can always have the, bat, the ball a little bit lower on the back. But to begin with, it's important to have it on the middle of the back. You're going to start with your hands behind your head just as Javier has them. Feet are on the ground, and as you perform your crunch, you want to make sure that you're engaging your core. That just means bringing your stomach slightly towards your spine and having a nice rhythmic breathing pattern. So Javier is going to demonstrate a couple of crunches here. You notice that he's pressing his head into his hands to relax the front of the neck. He's coming up, so basically his shoulder blades are coming up off the ball. Let's just go one more rep here, Javier. Again, focusing on engaging that core throughout the entire exercise. Now we're going to go into a progression of a twisted crunch. So as Javier crunches, he's going to slightly rotate to one side, he's going to go back to center, and then alternate sides. Excellent. Still focused on engaging that core and having a nice rhythmic breathing pattern. Good. One more on that other side, Javier. Excellent. To begin with, you want to start with the traditional crunch on the stability ball, going for five reps. As you feel comfortable, you're going to increase to 10 repetitions. From there, you want to start to incorporate the twisted crunch, which activates a little bit more of the oblique muscles, which are your side abdominal muscles. When you're doing the twisted crunch, it's important to start off with five reps on each side, and then start increasing to 10 reps. And then